So I wanted to look at propagations today. I have my little prop box right here. You guys can see I made it from a plastic bin, pretty simple. And these little guys, I got these little um, plastic domes on Amazon. I'll link it below if that helps. But these are a little string of heart babies, if you can see. There's a little root right there. Super cute. It's been about three weeks or so for those in there. I've also got more of them in here in this kind of little takeout container. Uh, good way to recycle and cheap, you know. And these have little, you see those little guys popping up? Very cute. That's also been probably mm, three weeks or so. Here I have a bunch of little guys. Some string of turtles there, string of hearts. Letting them root and grow. So I'll take these down and then we can look inside the prop box. Give me a second. Ta-da! <laughs> so this is my pride. We've got a few different varieties of plants in there. That's actually a um, vanilla orchid. That one in the corner with the little, that leaf is not looking so hot right there. But uh, that's a vanilla orchid and it'll grow vanilla beans, which is super cool. Um, kind of expensive raw, so it's nice to have them at home. Some peperomia, a little Christmas cactus, syngonium, string of hearts, some different hoyas, begonias, uh, is that a sense of, no, that's a skindapsis right there. Oh yeah, and this one, this little hoya. I can grab this one, because this one's super cute. This is a hoya carii. So I don't know if you've seen these. That one on top isn't doing the heart thing. These are the little heart plants. See, and you know, they can sell the individual little hearts. This one isn't really shaped like a heart, but the other ones are. So if you pick them, it won't grow from just a single cutting. You actually have to have some of the stem. I learned that the hard way by buying one of the, just the individual hearts, but uh, they won't grow like that. And here's one more that I have. This is just from a little plastic container with some rubber band and some uh, saran wrap. I put uh, sphagnum moss in there, wet it, let it sit in the sun. Those are some string of turtles looking good. So, thanks guys, that was my little propagation box for the day. I do have a few more down there, if you want to see, why not? So, these came from my prop box, now these are Deschidias, see the new growth here, pretty, down here. So that should get, you know, bushier, I'm hoping. I'm trying to keep it kind of humid, so I'm leaving a little lid on there. And then this is a Hoya Carnosa, I think. And a Hindu rope Hoya. And this is, has a little roots, but I think they're really slow growers, so that might take a really long time to get like any kind of chain. And then this one here, I think this is where I had the other one. This is just the last of the little begonia baby. I gotta repot that. Looks like he's ready. And yeah, these are a bunch of little ones that I propagated from just little cuttings or leaves, droppings at Home Depot. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, guys, and I'll see you soon. Have a good day.